This valve has got several names. Sometimes it's known as a Y plan, a mid position, a diverter, or a three port valve. Whatever you call it, it's been installed incorrectly. I can put money on it because it needs one extra component and that's called a snubber, it's a capacitor. Whoever makes that valve, you, the installer, must fit a snubber into the system. If you're a homeowner, go into your airing cupboard and have a look. Have you got one of these mid-position valves? And then ask your installer, where's my snubber? Most installers haven't got a clue what you're talking about. So the next video I'm making is all about fitting and solving a very big problem which is the boiler fires up when it feels like it morning noon and night even if you've got the system switched off it will fire up and installers will change the motor waste of time they change the head waste of time they change the whole unit waste of time they even change the boiler pcb Complete waste of time. There's nothing wrong with it. It needs a capacitor. So let's have a look at the video and let's start fixing the boiler. Are you a homeowner with one of these mid position valves? As I said earlier, ask your heating engineer, where's my snubber? Because without it, your boiler could be wasting gas. Heating engineers will replace parts that aren't faulty and you're getting ripped off. The boiler will fire up when it feels like it, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And there's nothing you can do about it. The problem is electricity on the blue wire which wasn't picked up by doing a polarity test because most installers can't be bothered. But that's the reason why you get rogue electricity flowing down and the boiler will simply fire up as it went through. Even with just 50 volts, the boiler will start heating up the house. To fit this snubber can only be done by a registered electrician who's been on the course to do with boilers and controls. The other person is always going to be a gas safe engineer but again they should have completed a course on controls from one of the approved training centres. The first stage is to put a nice blue fat wire between terminal 2 neutral and terminal 9 which is a spare one because we're going to need to put some neutrals there as well. This slide shows how little electricity can cause a very large problem which is difficult to solve. This is one example where you can fit the snubber in the wiring centre which is quite often the best place between terminals 8 and 9. This is another alternative that you can do, it's between Terminal 1, which is the live coming in, to Terminal 9, the new neutral that we've put. This is what a snubber looks like. It's a small capacitor. They have different colours and two short bits of wire and they go between those terminals. I'll leave the link to this company, NetXL, who supplies me and it's a very good price. Don't forget to mention Mr Combi in Bedford. A big thank you to my colleagues at Residio for sending this picture of one of the ways to fit a snubber and what the problem is. Another good location is on the boiler PCB on the live and neutral coming in from the spur. Thanks again to Residio for giving us this slide which shows the different voltages at the different conditions whether it's hot water mode or heating mode. But the important thing to remind engineers is the fact that do not use the earth connection with the black lead from the meter. It must go into the neutral terminal and then measure to live. The problem is it can trip the house circuit breakers. If you'd like more information on this situation 
and if you're a heating engineer would like to go on the course i'll put the links into the comments below and there's also a phone number to technical for guidance i've made several videos on wire plans and heating faults in particular so please watch this videos the mid position pipes the works how it works and different faults and i'll show you some more later these are the other Y-Plan mid-position valve videos that I've made. It's best to watch the polarity testing one first to get a grip of overall what the problem is about leakage and rogue voltages on the blue. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments, please leave them below. I always answer everybody and like and subscribe to our channel for more fantastic adult videos. Take care.